Hey there, you guys. Today's bath bomb demo is from Lush, and this is called Uluru. I ordered this one from the UK site. I got it from the Lush kitchen, and the scent description on this one, it includes orange oil, lemon myrtle oil, sandalwood, and rosewood. So you can already probably tell from the thumbnail on this video that this wasn't my favorite bath bomb. Um, the scent on this one, to me, kind of smelled a little soapy, kind of like a cleaner, soapy cleaner type smell. And the citrus in it was kind of a bitter citrus. So I didn't really care for the scent. And then when you put it in the water, it's a fast fizzer, which, you know, that's okay. Some bombs are like that. But then it didn't really have much in the way of color. And then it wasn't moisturizing. Not really as far as I could tell. There is a little bit of yellow that you'll see over here on the left that does bead up on the side of my bathtub. But that didn't really yield any moisture like I thought it might when I put in the tub. It didn't end up doing that for me. So hindsight, what I probably would have done was paired it with a bath melt and a bubble bar. If you do like these scents, the ones that I just um, talked about as far as the ingredients go, then I probably would pair it with some other things if I were you. But if not, then it's just my opinion. I didn't really care for it. I don't think there's anything super special about it, but that's just my opinion, my take, my experience with this one. So you can tell here that there's some drops of pigment down in the bottom that don't dissolve, which isn't a problem because a lot of times there's probably pigment in the bottom of brightly colored bombs that you don't even notice, but this water didn't really turn much of a color except for almost looks like a dirty colored water because it's not an actual color at all. So that's just a little unsightly. I mean, it just doesn't add anything to positive to this bomb. Um, also, when I turn the jets on, it doesn't really have any bubbling capability, which also doesn't bother me if you're hitting on several other high points of a bath bomb. But this one, obviously, like I said, doesn't really do that either. Um, as far as the yellow kind of building up on the sides, it does stick. And you'll see in a minute that I did kind of have to scrub that off. So, also, I don't mind doing that every once in a while if... I have a good experience on other different levels, but I didn't. So, um, yeah, didn't really like that part either. So here you see the ring it left around the tub, which really surprised me because I didn't really think it was going to leave a ring in the beginning because I didn't think it was going to have much pigment in it, but it did, and it does rub off. So, I mean, it didn't stain. It's not that big of a deal, but considering the fact that I didn't enjoy it any more than I did, um, I didn't really like that I had to clean it up really at all, except for just to rinse it down. And here you'll see, if you can really tell, um, really look closely, it does still have a faint yellow ring around it. So I do have to go back over it and clean it twice. So really didn't like that part. I don't think I've had to do that with any bath bomb until now. So um, sorry if you liked Uluru that I know that I'm panning it, but this is just my experience and I'm just going to pass it along to you guys as just that, my experience. So don't not go out and try it just because this is what um, happened to me or what I think. Go try it yourself. But um, yeah, that is my experience with it and go try it if you think you'll like it. Um, it was a really pretty bath bomb. So I think that's it, you guys. Um, let me know what you think, ask me any questions. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think it might have been okay if it were paired with something else. So that is it, and I will see you guys back here for my next demos. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye-bye.